Uh, we got the guys with us. All right, everybody. Hey, we're glad you could make it this How's morning. It Everyone's got their coffee ready to go. Ty Diaz here with Taylor Seaton, John Spriggs. We're here to discuss their premiere of a movie that you can catch this evening at the Riverwalk in Edwards. Must be nice. That's the title of the movie. Welcome, guys, to Vail Daily Live. How are you guys doing this morning? Good. Amazing. Thank you. So this is Taylor. This is John. And you arrived on crutches. I did, unfortunately. And so this is this an early season injury out there? It is. is, is that yep. From? Yep. I was in Europe. Uh, Actually, last week for the past six weeks and sang in the last day, had just a bad landing in the half pipe and um, yeah, on crutches. So skis, snowboards, but a mixture of both on the terrain. What do you guys do out there? Uh, mostly skiing. We do some snowboarding, you know, for fun. And the <laughs> movie does have a couple shots of some snowboarders in there, but mainly just skiing. The movie's called Must Be Nice. I'm sure you're curious about it. Tell us about Must Be Nice. Well, everyone always. Uh, hears that you're a professional skier skiing is your lifestyle and they say oh it must be nice <laughs> they don't really realize uh, the hard work and dedication and then also the heartbreaks that go into it last season when we were filming the movie Spriggs blew his knee and now I'm walking in on crutches so there's actually a lot of heartache to to you know this sport so living this life with and friends out there getting after it on the terrain you guys are just taking turns on the injuries it's, yeah. part, it's, it's a medal of honor it's, it, it comes with the life like you're saying yeah we, we've signed up for that for sure we we knew the risk going into it uh but you know skiing is the reward and it's what we love so so there's of course there's a movie trailer out there that everyone can check out for your movie that's happening tonight but tell us what can we find in the movie what's going on so the movie kind of chron chronicles our season last year. Um, it's kind of a part documentary and still has a lot of ski action mixed mm -hmm. in there, but kind of shows more of the reality of pursuing mm -hmm. that professional ski career or filming a movie in the backcountry. Um, so it kind of has a lot of the ups and downs. And um, yeah, it's got a lot of action, a lot of great ski shots and definitely some you know, pretty intense moments. So learning from uh, talking with Trisha about your movie, and I'm not sure if this is your first time of being, I mean, you guys for the first time, uh, if this is your first time doing a movie, but to produce a movie, we all think that it comes with a big budget, but you guys kind of got away with it, with this movie. And of course it's successful uh, and we're looking forward to seeing it, but what kind of budget were you working with? Uh, so we had just a couple of sponsors help us out. Pretty small budget compared to like the big TGRs, you know, Born Millers out there. Um, so a lot of it was our own money that we make in the summertime or from sponsors. And then we had Podium Sports, which was a huge help for us. Um, that helped us with a little bit of the budget, but most of it was just heart and soul. And speaking of money, the, the proceeds from this movie goes towards a good cause, of course. Yep. So I've set up a fund through Access Sports Medicine. It's called the Spriggs Wellness Assistant Program. Um, it's supposed to help athletes around the community. So they have a bunch of uh, physical therapy areas set up in Summit County and across Eagle County. Um, so all those funds are going to help local athletes that need that extra funding to kind of get through that end of their therapy with their injuries. Looking at uh, the article that John LeCant wrote on, uh, for you guys about this movie, I, I think it came out on the 15th, and I was just looking at the, the photograph in that article, and I guess that's the location. I didn't recognize where that was, so where did the movie take place? So most of the movie was filmed in a small little town called Cook City, Montana. Um, super eclectic little town that um, basically ends into snowmobiling. Um, so you I just sled around the town and, uh, from the town you go up and just ski these huge mountains in the Beartooth wilderness and yeah, it's sick. So living this life, is it as nice as the title says? <laughs> you know, it, it can be, but it also has the hardships to yeah. it. So it's kind of the both ways and that's why we wanted to make this movie. It's definitely a movie. We've got huge pillow lines. We've got deep powder. We have big mountain lines. I've got a little half pipe segment in there, and um, as well as we've got a tribute. The whole movie is tributed to Johnny, who, who we lost last year. He was a Vail local, and you can touch on him a little bit. Yeah, so he was uh, basically a mentor, um, super good friend of ours who passed away 
um, skiing the side country here in Vail last year. So the movie's dedicated to him. Um, there's a little short part uh, about Johnny in there. Um, so that was definitely, um, you know, tough, tough segment to make, but um, it's a touching tribute. So yeah. So we're what we're gathering with this make. movie is that, of course, there's that lifestyle that we're all enjoying, but we definitely are, you know, we, we live for it. And some of us have, you know, our lives have moved on because of it as well. It's definitely one of those movies, I guess you're trying to share with the viewers that though we're enjoying it, it does come with, with uh, moments like this that's kind of hard to, to converse about. But it's it is a reality, yeah, and so cool. Trisha and Ken, I mean, especially Ken, you're you're an athlete, and you kind of get out there in the grips too, on the water, on the snow. Uh, any questions for you guys? These guys must be nice about this life, and this movie. Yeah, uh, most definitely, and thank you, Ty. And man, please understand, I was I was close because I'm next to the snow guns, which are really loud, <laughs> ah. but I was hanging on every word. Um, here's my question for them. I admire them, you know, it, putting out a movie. You know, you got so many critics out there. Uh, and I know the challenges of just doing our live program. What was the biggest challenge for them shooting this? What was like, what did they encounter that was probably the most difficult? Um, for myself, I'd say just last year, the conditions were just so adverse that um, finding good conditions to get the good shots that we wanted to get was, was just such a struggle last year. But we made it happen, so. Nice. Congratulations. And then a, a follow-up question. I was going to say a follow-up question to that is, what was the highlight? What was the moment that you were like, whoa? Uh, I had a line in there. Um, it's kind of the closing line of the movie, the second to last uh, shot of the movie. And, uh, yeah, it was my biggest line. And, I yeah, it made everything. We had started the morning out at 6.30 in the morning. And we filmed it at 7.30 p.m. So pretty long day out there in the backcountry, searching for snow, going from one zone to the next and just not getting any good snow. And then finally almost giving up and saying on the way home, stopping by this one last zone and the snow is good. And I was able to put this line down. So that was my highlight. Well, I'll send it over to Trisha. I know she has some <laughs> I'll send it over to Trisha. I know she has some questions as well. Congratulations, guys. We know as you know, kind of filmmakers ourselves how difficult it can be and how much effort goes into making it look so easy. So great job. We look forward to seeing it. Yeah, and um, hey, Emma, can we roll the trailer while I ask my questions? So, um, guys, I know that tonight, 7.30, is the movie premiere at um, the Riverwalk Theater. You want everyone to come early. They're going to have food and drinks there. But tell us about the raffle, because you've got some cool raffles that you're raffling off. The, the, the tickets are $12, and that includes a raffle ticket. Can we buy more raffle tickets to help John's fundraiser? Yep, we're going to be selling more raffle tickets. Uh, and yeah, come early. We're going to be doing an autograph signing. And for our raffle, we had tons of local and non-local sponsors uh, give us tons of gear. Uh, just to name a few, we have Gorsuch. We're actually sitting here in Gorsuch right now. They're helping out. They're going to give an outerwear kit. We got Podium Sports. They've donated a pair of skis for this. 10th Mountain Whiskey, MoPro Snowmobile Ski Racks. Uh, Rocky Mountain Taco, the Blue Cow here in Vail, uh, Armada Skis, Vail Daily, Montucky Cold Snacks, Vail Brewing Company, uh, Glow Mind, Body, and Skin in Minturn, Eclair Gloves, Flax the Helmet and Goggles, Access Sports Medicine. So we have tons of stuff to give away and to raffle off. Just to list yeah. a few. <laughs> yeah, okay. Got to thank, a, gotta thank everyone. That's for sure. It's going to be good. That's so awesome. Okay, and if we can't make it tonight, uh, there's going to be another premiere over in Summit County, right? Yeah, so November 27th, we are hosting a premiere at the 10 Mile Music Hall right there in Frisco off of Main Street. Uh, doors open at 6.30, another awesome raffle. We're actually even giving away a whole um, guided fly fishing float trip for that um, premiere and a bunch of skis and a bunch of other stuff. It's all going towards um, the fun for Access Sports Medicine. So that's going to be a sick one, too. I'm going to leave it to these guys, Trisha Swenson, to invite the viewers right now to come out and check out the movie. So tell them, send the invite out there, the time to meet you, everything. 
Come on out, Riverwalk Theater tonight at 7.30. We're going to be signing posters uh, at the beginning of the event and selling raffle tickets. So show up a little early. Um, we'll have a little bit of food there and drink for everybody. But, uh, yeah, definitely get there a little bit early. And it, the raffle is going to be insane. So you definitely want to get some raffle tickets. John Spriggs, Taylor Seaton, must be nice in theaters this evening. Riverwalk, we will see you there. Thank you guys very much for coming Thank on the show. You.